Hello everyone, um, my name is Ralph and I want to review some spirits and beers over the next couple of videos for you guys. Um, I brought a lot of stuff from my recent travels to Asia and I would like to show some of the commonly used drinks, spirits and beers over there to you. Uh, today I brought one beer called Tiger. Um, actually, I bought it in uh, Thailand. This also has the uh, Thai um, Thai letters on it, the Thai language. Even though it's a uh, beer from Singapore, um, found it from a brewery there in nineteen. Where is it? Uh, nineteen thirty-two. Um, it's a lager beer. Has five percent alcohol. Yeah. Um, it, even though it's not a Thai beer, um, you can drink it there in almost every bar in Thailand. I actually drank it at uh, on my flight to Thailand from Frankfurt. So even if it's not it wasn't the it wasn't the Asian airline, they had the Tiger beer. So I I'm pretty sure it's widely known in Asia. Um, I bet you heard of it before. Um, I just brought the can because of um, transportation reasons. I know the bottle would be much better. Um, so it's 490 milliliter, so almost a pint. Um, i show you the can. It's a very nice design with the tiger uh, and the palm tree in the background. Yeah, it's just a unique uh, in Asia, they often use animals uh, on their spirits or beers. Um, yeah, and the tiger here is very nice, I just think. So, yeah, I mean, I want to show you the color first, I think. So we just pour it in a glass. Have a nice Singa glass here from Thailand's most famous beer, I would say. So let's open it up. I put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes, so it has perfect temperature. Um, if you drink it in Asia, especially Singapore, Thailand, they probably would serve it with ice to you. Um, yeah, where I'm come from, that's very unusual, but I totally understand it there. Um, it's so fucking hot, and I mean, even if you get a really cool down beer, uh, it loses its temperature pretty quick and just gets warm, so yeah. They just use ice, which I understand. All right, so let's have a look. Just a very common light color. Uh, not too much foam. Yeah, has a pretty good color, I would say. Um, pretty standard lager, pills and beer. And yeah. Um, as far as I can remember, the taste not very out of the ordinary. It's just a classic beer for most of the uh, most of people would say. Uh, I mean, if you give me the four most common beers in Asia and wouldn't let me test them, I think I could taste the difference. Uh, don't bet on it, but uh, I think I could. Maybe I'll make another video of it. So yeah, in the common videos, I want to show you more beers and spirits. Um, I have very unique spirits from Asia with me. Some pretty unusual, funny ones and uh, some pretty standard ones. But yeah, I just want to show uh, what they have over there. Regarding the beer, um, yeah, there's not too much variety. I mean, they have mostly one big brand name, a couple, a handful of uh, big companies who often produce the beer and offer the beer there. The Tiger is basically uh, from the Heineken Asia branch. So yeah, another huge name. Um, where I'm coming from, we have like in one area, like 50 breweries, like it's totally different uh, market, I would say. Um, yeah, but uh, over the years, I, I 
been to Asia a lot uh, in the last five, seven years, like several times a year. And over the years, not much, ha uh, not, not much has changed. But I would say this year, uh, it's the first year I discovered many new, well, not many, but like a handful of new brands, um, craft beers basically, which I'm very excited to show you uh, in the next videos. Um, yeah, I was really happy to see that, that there is some development or some need for uh, new stuff. Um, can never have enough beer. Yeah, so. Uh, you what, what you might think what qualifies me to rate or review this beer is yeah I'm just pretty uh, experienced beer drinker I would say um, like I told you before I from the country I'm coming from um, we have so many different beers like thousands of different beers for sure um, yeah which I would love to review uh, in the future as well but yeah, I mean, I know them very well, so I like to explore the spirits and beers of other countries. So, yeah, today we start with this one. Um, yeah, I would say let's just uh, jump right into it. Let's have a quick taste. I would say this one have a, a stronger malt note than other beers, like other standard beers. You definitely can taste that it has a higher malt percentage. Hops also pretty good, but not uh, crazily high. So it's not very bitter. I mean, as a beer drinker who um, drinks beer on a, on a regular basis, like frequently, I would say the bitterness is not such a big issue. Like um, if you never drink any beer and then would drink this beer, yes, it would be probably be a little bitter for you. Um, but yeah, for common beer, uh, standard beer drinker. This is not very bitter. Yeah, it's a very good beer. I think uh, you could have a great night only sticking to this beer specifically or when you are in Singapore or Thailand. This beer is totally fine. Um, compared to I will compare it to Thai beers again. Let's, for example, say Singa. Singa has a much softer taste, I would say. Less hops, less malt, uh, more watery, maybe. I don't know if that's a good description. But yeah, you can just pour that stuff in um, without a break. With this one, you should um, enjoy and have some smaller sips, I would say. Or you can take more uh, time to enjoy this beer. Mm. Yeah, I like this one. I wouldn't go so far that it's my favorite beer uh, from Asia. Um, I can re cannot, cannot reveal it yet to you, but in the upcoming videos I will. And I will make a tasting, blind tasting, to see if I can really spot the difference, which I announced for Singa, for example that it tastes way different. Let's see if I was too cocky or if I can really uh, find a difference. Yeah, uh, by the way, this is my first YouTube video. I, I hope it's not too cringy. Uh, I'm normally a very shy person, so please don't uh, roast me too hard, but I, I hope I can entertain some of you. And yeah, uh, this beer I can really recommend. Um, I think the this can was around 60 baht as I bought it in Thailand is like 1 euro 50 or 1 dollar oh god uh, 1 dollar 60 70 I don't really know the exchange rate right now 
probably one pound yeah but the beer always around this price range over there not don't not really sure about singapore but it has to be way more expensive than thailand just from the um economy over there i would say but i really don't have it in my mind i can look it up later uh, yeah let's uh get some refill over here so yeah i would say if you maybe you not get it in 7-eleven but yeah in the common lotus uh supermarket over there in the malls tesco yeah you should get it but um, as i said if you are specifically in thailand you can stay to the common brands but I will review them later. So, yeah. Next up, I think what I got next, um, maybe I put in some craft beer from Thailand. Or I start with uh, one of the spirits. Um, yeah, let's see, maybe I flip a coin. My uh, my whole cupboard is full of it. What I brought from my journey went there last month. Yeah, great time to be there. Uh, weather is shit here and it's uh, super warm over there. Not too hot like you might uh, think, like it was around 30 degree every day. No rain at all. I think it didn't rain one time in two weeks and yeah just perfect i mean when you're in bangkok um the smog is pretty present like you won't get the sunshine like you would find on the beach but yeah i just love to be over there just the weather makes you feel so much better right away yeah when i came back here was like in frankfurt uh to two degrees i only had the t-shirt on from flying uh, from coming from bangkok so yeah it was a fucking bummer i have to tell you and yeah got a little cold right away but yeah going out in a t-shirt wasn't smart but uh, i couldn't get my jacket in time yeah even i've traveled many times there yeah, should be smarter and more prepared i just totally forget about the still winter here and yeah well anyway let's finish this glass i don't want to drag this video too long for you guys um i mean this should be about the beer not about uh the background story of my uh, travels maybe i make some travel video but yeah i my main passion lies in spirits and beers but let's see if you like this video and would like to have a review on uh, Thailand, Bangkok. Like I'm pretty experienced regarding Thailand and Asia in general. Uh, please let me know if you would like to see some review or let me know if you want to know anything more if I miss something out. But yeah, be prepared for upcoming videos. I'm not sure about the schedule yet. Um, I have to see how it's with my work, so I make the videos mostly in the evening. One, uh, one review I will have to make in the morning, you will find out why uh, soon enough, but yeah. I hope you guys looking forward to that and let me know uh, how my first video was, uh, how I can improve. I'm not a well public speaker, um, I'm sure I can improve a lot there. Yeah, just let me know, please. Some review would be very helpful. See you next time, guys. Bye.